For most car manufacturers, a crash test often means sending about a dozen cars to a crash test facility where the vehicles will be tortured, destroyed, and abandoned in most cases. The more expensive the car is, the more money its maker has to spend for the tests. Here are some of the biggest spenders in the industry. Number 10. Range Rover Velar The Velar itself is supposed to fill the gap between two other popular models, the Range Rover Sport and the Range Rover Evoque. A job it's done quite well with its 376 horsepower V6 engine, complemented with massive interior to house that high-tech comfort. Euro NCAP has tested the 2017 model and the car passed with flying colors. In fact, it earned an overall excellent performance in crash protection thanks to the comprehensive crash avoidance technology. The passenger dummy used in the frontal offset test remained in good shape in all critical body areas. The passenger compartment also stayed stable upon impact. On the more severe side pole impact, the Range Rover Velar even scored maximum points. Moreover, the emergency braking system was shown to be effective to help avoid collisions at almost all test speeds. Number 9. Audi Q8 The Audi Q8 shares almost its entire structure with the Q7 and has the same safety equipment as well. Key safety features include standard forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, and blind spot monitoring, among others. The lack of changes in the safety equipment department is apparently a good thing for the car. The NHTSA gave the 2021 Audi Q8 five-star crash test rating. It earned a perfect score in the side crash test and all its subcategories, and near perfect in frontal offset as well as rollover. The IIHS even named it a top safety pick which means it has a good safety rating for driver and passengers, roof strength, front crash prevention system for both vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to pedestrian assessment. Number 8. Tesla Model S The 2014 Tesla Model S safety rating is perfect. Independent testing by the NHTSA for the model year resulted in maximum points in all categories and subcategories without exception. It is 5 out of 5 star rating for every test conducted. The biggest advantage the Model S had for the test was the absence of a large fuel-powered engine block, giving it a longer crumple zone to absorb impact. On the side pole test, Model S did remarkably well thanks to the deep aluminum extrusions in the car's side rail to distribute force of impact to the entire car body, minimizing effect before the pole hit an occupant. The car had only a 5.7% rollover risk. Number 7. Porsche Taycan Porsche's first electric car is a sleek sports sedan that fully lives up to the brand's high-performance reputation. Although the Euro NCAP gave the Porsche Taycan an overall 5 out of 5 star rating, which is the highest possible score, the car only scored marginal in rear-end collision in which protection against whiplash injuries on the head restraints and front seats still had room for improvement. The same thing applied to the rear seats. Another problem was also discovered during frontal offset tests, more specifically risk of injuries to child occupants. Protection for critical body areas was good except in the neck, which in a real-world situation could likely be fatal. On the other hand, for side barrier test, Porsche Taycan earned maximum points. Passenger detection system added with autonomous emergency braking worked flawlessly to avoid collision with pedestrian, cyclist, and other vehicles as well. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz G-Class The 2020 G-Class has not been crash tested by the NHTSA or the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. In Europe, the 2019 model has been reviewed by the Euro NCAP and it came out earning a perfect score of 5 stars. In both side pole impact and side barrier tests, the G-Class proved to be a safe vehicle as all critical body areas of the occupant were well protected. For that, it earned maximum points. Similar to the Taycan, automatic emergency braking comes standard in the G-Class. 
Even when driven at highway speed, the lane assistance system worked very well to prevent inadvertent drifting out of the lane and some other more critical situations. Unfortunately, the chest compression on the driver's seat and frontal offset and fill side barrier test was found to be weak. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Even by today's standard, the SLS AMG is an incredible machine built for speed thanks to its 6.2-liter V8 that generates 583 horsepower. Just like many other supercars, neither the NHTSA nor IHS has crash-tested it, even the Euro NCAP has no safety rating for it. That said, online videos of a crash test show that the sleek long hood does a remarkable job in absorbing the impact of a frontal crash to the point where the windshield remains intact following a direct hit. An inverted SLS AMG has been tested too to see if its gull wing survived a rollover. And it did. In fact, the doors automatically popped open in the event of a rollover to let passengers escape easily. Number 4. Lamborghini Murcielago In early November 2010, Lamborghini announced that its Murcielago line came to its end of production. As you might expect, there's no crash test rating from NHTSA, IIHS, or Euro NCAP. A lot of supercars do not release their safety ratings, and the Murcielago didn't either. The last model of the Murcielago is known as the SV. Except for the steel doors and roof, the entire body is made of carbon fiber. During a frontal offset test, the car had to rely solely on the frame and front hood to absorb impact, which it did very well. Upon impact, the crumple area was crushed, but the cabin remained intact despite the absence of engine in the front. Number 3. Bugatti Veyron Crash tests for any car model is intended to see how the vehicle reacts to normal usage in the real world, which may include high-speed crashes, rollover damage, and emergency braking, among others. To get accurate data, multiple crashes are necessary. Bugatti Veyron has not been tested by NHTSA or IIHS in the United States and Euro NCAP in Europe, for the obvious reason. It's too much money to burn. Instead of crashing dozens of $2 million cars, Bugatti used only one vehicle for every test, which the company then repairs to perfection for more tests year after year. That way, the company doesn't have to keep on crashing its pricey cars. Also, Bugatti uses its own crash simulation software to depict real-world collision and generate data from it. Digital tests cost thousands of dollars, but still it's more affordable than destroying a Veyron. Number 2. Koenigsegg Regera If an automaker is indeed willing to undergo crash tests, it would take about a dozen cars or so to generate enough data for comprehensive ratings. In other words, a dozen cars will be sent for destruction. For a niche automaker like Koenigsegg, those dozen cars are almost the entire production in any given year, so that's not financially sensible at all. Koenigsegg actually uses only one car for every test and repairs it each time. Most damages are on the exterior panels, which are relatively inexpensive compared to its chassis and other components. Koenigsegg only needs to make sure that the chassis survives every test. That said, there are no safety ratings from NHTSA or Euro NCAP. Number 1. Pagani Huayra not only is Pagani Huayra mesmerizing to look at, but also mind-boggling with a V12 that generates 791 horsepower. This car's not been crash-tested by IIHS, NHTSA, or Euro NCAP, but then again, Pagani is not required to undergo the test anyway. Pagani actually crashed its Huayra prototype in a real-world test drive, albeit unintentionally, near a Falterbach in Germany. The company claimed that the central monocoque of the Huayra performed extremely well, that the driver and passenger were left uninjured in the incident. In a crash test video clip that circulates online, Pagani Huayra's structure is shown to withstand a frontal impact at a strength that would otherwise shatter a standard carbon fiber part. <laughs>